Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Um, wanted to make a video uh, just showing um, my pack and uh, basically doing a pack dump and talking about a couple of different options that I have as a saddle hunter that's using rope climbing methods. Um, also, um, if you're if you're getting into saddle hunting and you're looking at different ways of climbing, um, I'm a real big fan of having every tool at your disposal. So um, I'm a real big fan of the rope climbing methods like DRT and SRT. Um, however, one of the problems with DRT and SRT is getting into trees that don't have a limb um, where you want it and maybe you've got a, a, a tree that's got doesn't have a limb for the first 50 feet and it's nice and straight. Um, maybe those types of trees would be perfect for like a climber. But if you don't want to lug in your climber, um, what uh, I'm going to be doing this year is, in the past, I was always bringing in my four um, sticks. Uh, I've currently been using XOP sticks. I have a Shakar stick on order because they're, they're nice and compact and small. So I'm going to be modifying things in the near future. But um, I'm going to be doing some single stick climbing. And uh, I saw some guys are using basically, they're calling it like a, a hybrid a hybrid of SRT climbing and using a, a single stick. Uh, so basically what we're doing is you're taking your, your climbing stick, putting an aider off of the bottom. This has a, a two-step aider and what I'll be doing is if I have a tree that I can't set up for a preset or I don't have a limb that I can hit, uh, hit to climb either DRT or SRT, I could just carry in a single stick and I can single stick climb using this setup and using the aider it makes it really easy because you're going to gain a certain amount of feet with your aider and then I might climb one or two steps on my actual single stick and then I'm going to sit into my saddle um, I'll, I'll basically put my um, my tether as high up as I can reach sit into my saddle and then I'll reposition my stick move it up and just keep doing that working my way up the tree it's a little bit more work than climbing DRT or SRT or even using four sticks, but at least you don't have to carry in the four sticks. So um, I'm going to be trying that this year uh, just in my setups where I have to go way back and I want to be really light and mobile if it's a spot that I don't have a preset. So what I have here set up is I've got a scale and I'm going to weigh, you know, uh, I'm going to weigh my setup and just kind of show you uh, how much gear I'm carrying in. Um, now, mind you, I'm filming some of my hunts this year, or I'm going to film all my hunts this year, so I have to carry in a camera, I have to carry in um, a camera arm, um, you know, so it's, it's that much more equipment. And, um, you know, it's kind of cool and fun to film your hunts, but it makes for a lot more work and gear, you know, money, gear, um, time setting up. be honest with you, it's kind of a pain in the neck, but it's cool if you pull it all together and you can film your hunt and and capture it so it's kind of cool that's what we're going to do this year so just to show you what i've got here i've got um on the table here i've got two packs um i got a badlands super day that i use i used to use this for hunting now i'm pretty much just using this for my preset and scouting um the times i'm out there scouting and this you know this pack gets sweated up in the summer and everything so i'm not too worried about it because i'm not going to be hunting with it um and what I'll do, I'll carry in here, I'll carry my, uh, you know, um, my paracord, and I'll, ca I'll throw, I, I carry my paracord, and I'll throw my saddle in there, I'll throw a rope in there, um, and everything I need, when, and, you know, my cut saw and everything for when I'm going to set up presets. But my hunting pack, I'm leaving that just for hunting. I don't want to get that all sweat up, so... Um, I went with a new pack this year, and I was, wasn't was sure what pack I wanted to go with. Scott's been using the Sitka Tool Bucket. It's really nice. I like the way it lays out, and it works really well, but it's a little bit pricey. And um, I saw this one. This one's called, uh, 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 made by H uh, Horn Hunter. And uh, my friend Joe turned me on to it. I hadn't seen it before. But it's set up very similar to the Sitka Tool Bucket and the way it lays out. So it opens up like that and then it's got like a hook so you can hang it up and all your gear fits in it it's got a couple of pockets on each side I'll go through that in a little bit but um, 
first I want to show you what my setup will run will weigh me. This is right now my pack has everything in it. If I'm going in on a hunt, carrying in my camera gear and everything, and, um, and if I'm climbing DRT climbing, and I'm bringing in a, a, my throw ball just in case I want to make a move when I'm hunting. So I've got a I've got a digital scale here. I'm gonna zero it out. So it's zeroed out. Take my pack, put it in here. See what everything weighs. So everything, everything total in that pack is 22.9 pounds. So I have 20, say 23 pounds. So I got 23 pounds of gear. And all I'm doing is when I go in, I'm going to be, I'm going to have my pack on my back, my bow in my hand, and that's it. My, I'll wear my saddle in, I'll put my saddle in, on at the truck, and I'll just walk in wearing my saddle, and I'll have all my gear here. Um, so, let me just show you what I've got in my pack. Um, in my pack, I have, um, this is a, um, a gear hanger. Um, I, think the, I forget the name of the company, I think it was Whitetail Dreams is the name of the company. And it's a really nice uh, gear hanger straps to the tree so you don't use the screw steps before on public land. So we've got that. Um, I always carry in a cut saw this way. If I'm going in first time I gotta cut, you know, trim some shooting lanes. I've got two flashlights. I got one of them that's just a coast flashlight, uh, like a headlamp. And it's got the red light. I like to go in in the dark where, using a red light. I feel like uh, the deer can spot white light a lot easier, so I use a red light when I go in. I also have another LED flashlight just for if I shoot a deer late and I got to track it in the dark, I got an extra flashlight. Um, got my tether that, you know, for tethering into the tree. Um, got my my camera bag that my camera is going to be in. I've got my um, my throw ball cube, throw ball and throw line in here, all folded up. If you're hunting a preset, um, you could probably get away without having to carry this in. I don't see myself carrying this in all the time, but it's a good idea to have it because if you needed to make a move, um, you'd have a way to get your line into a tree. Um, Scott pretty much doesn't go into the woods without it, but uh, a lot of times I'll go in, if I'm going in a preset, I won't even bother carrying it with me. Um, I got my, my Predator platform. I've got my 75 feet of Samson Predator climbing line with a split tail and a carabiner on it. I'm trying this year for the first time, I picked up the Lone Wolf pocket arm, camera arm. It's nice and compact, folds up really small. I mean, my fluid head is bigger than the whole unit. Uh, probably going to get a different fluid head, a smaller one. But for right now, I just had this one, so I stuck it on there. But I'm going to probably go ahead and order another one uh, very soon to get a, a smaller unit on here, just to make it even that much more compact. But this is a lot lighter and smaller than my old I was using a muddy outfitter arm which is a great arm it's just um, it's got a ratchet strap so it's a little bit more noisy to set up and it's it's pretty big um, it's real sturdy it's a really good arm but uh, for saddle hunting and going in really really compact and light this uh, this should work out really well for us so I got my knife. Um, a lot of times I won't, um, I usually leave in my truck uh, a, a kill pack. So I probably won't be carrying in my knife most of the time. I'll just usually leave a pack with like, you know, uh, paper towels, rubber gloves, all that at my truck. If I get a kill, I'll go back, bring all my gear back, put on different clothing, different boots, everything to go back and get the deer. But most people carry a knife with them. Let's 
sides here. I've got my um, got my range finder. And I carry a small set of binoculars. Um, I also will go in with a grunt tube, but I usually wear that around my neck. I don't usually carry it in the pack. So that's about it. That's everything that's in my pack. Um, the saddle I'll be wearing on my on my person. And um, another thing that I will probably be doing a lot this year, especially if I'm going someplace where I want to go in first time. Uh, I've not been there and don't have a preset. Um, I could carry all that gear, but I'll probably go ahead and also carry my stick. And like I said, this, this particular stick, this is just an XOP with an aider on the bottom. I can single stick climb with this, but um, I'm, I've got a, a set of a, a Shakar that's coming that's a little bit smaller, lighter, uh, should fold up a little bit nicer, and I'm going to probably utilize that. We'll see how that works out. Um, you know, one of the things I wanted to show you, one other thing here, uh, I like, I like, if I'm using a rope climbing method for hunting, my preferred way to go is DRT climbing, just because that's, it's kind of what I learned on, and it's, um, it's small enough, light enough, and, um, what I really like is it's just a minimalist way to go. Um, but I've also gotten into SRT climbing, and I probably wouldn't have a setup where I can do either or. I'll probably bring one setup or another, either SRT or DRT. Now, I showed you what my pack weighs with everything for DRT climbing. Um, SRT climbing, there's more than one way you can do it, you know, that I'm set up for. I have, I can either carry 75 feet of, um, this is uh, Tuffelberger Platinum. Um, climbing line 75 feet. I like to use this if I'm going to use a, a base tie. Um, I can do a big canopy hitch. I can alpine butterfly with this with 75 feet, but you're carrying more rope. Um, another thing you can do is you can carry a shorter rope and SRT climb. And here I have this is about 50 feet. You could probably even get away with less. It, even 40 feet would probably be enough. F uh, 40 feet of a rope, uh, you know, the rope of your choice. This one here is a, a phantom climbing line, and I just got a, a loop tied in one end of it, and you're going to need to have enough rope to get you up to your limb and back down. Now, if I was only carrying 40 or 50 feet, this here is 50 feet of actual rope, but then I have another 30 feet of um, paracord so that I can put it on the end of the rope, get it all the way up and down so it'll reach me on both ends. I can pull it through the loop and get my line up into the tree and what I'll do is I'll utilize one end of the paracord I'll tie it to the loop and this way I can pull my my climbing line back out when I'm done hunting so it's kind of like carrying 75 feet of rope but you're only going to bring in you know maybe 40 or 50 feet of rope that you would climb on the rest is paracord so it just makes it a lighter more compact package of rope and you know for guys that are really concerned about minimizing how much gear and rope they're going to pull in you might want to go that route i tend to like to you know anywhere be between 40 and 75 feet of rope is what you're going to need and um, if you go this route you're just going to eliminate some of the rope and some of the bulk and a little bit of you know the rope doesn't weigh that much but uh it will make it you know a little bit lighter less bulky um, the only other thing is your when if I'm climbing with that, I'm also going to need to bring in my SRT climbing gear, which is going to be my hand ascender and my belay device, my uh, my gree gree. So if I was going with you know I ha I showed you what it weighed for my DRT setup, my SRT setup is going to be about the same really because um, if I'm using less rope, I shaved a little bit of weight off of there, but I'm adding the weight of my hand ascender and gree gree so it ends up kind of it's like a wash really in weight but there is a little bit less bulk um, if you're going with the SRT setup and a shorter rope um, so that's about it um, you know hopefully that uh, 
gives you an idea of how light you can go in. There's a lot of guys that, that have some real ultralight setups and you know, you can go, you know, you could take your, your saddle and have a, a saddle that has some cis haulers and stuff. And if you're gonna be really, really super lean, you could just bring the bare essentials in on your saddle. Um, and whether you're, you know, one stick climbing or um, if you're using any of these rope climbing methods, especially with a preset, I mean, you could just go in real super, super light. You can go in even, even lighter than what I showed you here. But you can see for me, I'm talking about 23 pounds, roughly 23 pounds or less, because um, I can shave off some things that I wouldn't need to carry. But I just showed you everything, and I'm showing you with camera gear and all. So if you're somebody that's not filming, you know, it's going to be a lot lighter and a lot less bulky. So um, hopefully that's uh, helpful to you guys. If you have any questions, put them in the comments section and uh, I'll answer your questions, all right? So uh, best of luck to you guys. Climb safe.